Thank you for taking the time to interview with us. Unfortunately, based on the conversation, we decided not to move on forward with you. Reason for this is that in the conversations, the manager found that you focused a lot on employment conditions and not so much on the challenge itself, the company, the team, etc. With this, we found that your motivation to work with us isn't what we would have hoped for. As we have other candidates who seem more motivated, we decided to move on with them. Think about what a red flag that is. They are complaining that you've asked about the conditions with which you're going to commit your life and work life to them. That is absolutely mad. Like, what you can't ask about the conditions you're going to work in. What's weird is like, companies do do this, but they quite rarely tell you. So I almost respect the honesty, but I think the honesty is coming from a place of idiocy rather than like transparency. But that is outrageous. Bloody hell. Right. Financial services firm needs high level of computer skills, forms completion and management. Accounting, QuickBooks skills, graphics, PowerPoint, Word and Excel. Hourly at first, but successful salary position if it goes well. If you've had more than two jobs in five years, your resume will be discarded. Please respect this. I hate companies that do this. It's such like a weird stereotype. Think how easy it is to lose your job. We've gone through a pandemic. Every tech company in the world is laying people off through no fault of their own, often after leaving their jobs in the first place and firing them within the first two weeks. Like, there's so many legitimate reasons why you've lost your job that to then just rule out candidates who've had more than two jobs in five years is just not on. And also, it's stupid. It's so stupid because companies are desperately trying to find good candidates and you're just ruling out some amazing people based on this stupid rule. So I re- they, they thoroughly deserve what happens in this, these companies because it's so idiotic. Yes, I'm down to ask around specific jobs and experience. Like that's totally fine. But to just blanket rule people out like that is just weird. And I don't get it. It's such Some of my best employees that I've hired have had more than two jobs in five years. So I, I just don't get it. Recruitment rejection. Hi, my apologies for the confusion just now as you arrive for your interview with this person at 11. I understand you live close just up the road and are looking for a job with full-time hours. Unfortunately, we would not consider employing someone in a full-time capacity that arrives to an interview exactly on time. Eh? Maybe arriving a little earlier to future job interviews would show the employer that you are keen. Oh, wishing you all the best with your job search. Kind regards. Hang on, so this person arrived on time and they rejected them. Oh, that's so petty. Like, who... Who do these people think they are? You've arrived on, like, even if you arrive a few minutes late, just calm down, will you? Like, no one's that important. Like, life happens. And also, this little passive-aggressive bit of advice at the end where they go, maybe arriving a little earlier to future jobs will show the employee you're keen. It's so, oh, these people sound awful. This person's dodged an absolute bullet here. Ugh, that's really, ugh. Right, LinkedIn message. These are always good. Hi, I'm having real trouble growing our React team. It seems every developer in Berlin is only money hungry and doesn't care about the value of what they're actually building. I guess everyone has completely forgotten that that kind of mindset is exactly how Hitler was able to control the whole country into killing millions of Jews. Oh my God. I can offer 10 to 15 euros per hour with a bonus if we get everything finished early. The earlier we finish, the higher the bonus. He actually invoked the Holocaust as a reason for why people don't work for his company. I mean, forget the fact that he's trying to pay a developer 10 to 15 euros an hour. He actually used the Holocaust as a trying to explain why people don't work to him. That is sociopathic. That's absolute mad. I can't believe he did that. And he's recruiting him, but my God. My office has lost 60% of our staff since the start of the pandemic. I am doing the work of three people and I was here for 14 hours yesterday. I got this email from my area manager this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. And the email says, (laughs) oh my God. The email says, do me a favor. Don't ever tell me that you are too busy because I don't believe it. It is a lame excuse and nobody that is successful ever says that. Work smarter or longer or both. (laughs) What an asshole. Oh my God. I mean, what? I mean, he's just an idiot, right? Because they sound like they're already down on staff. You've got someone who's working incredibly hard. And instead of that sort of motivation or just, you know, being a basic human and saying, you know, well done, keep it going, anything I can do to help, etc. He sends that. I mean, I expect to see that from like followed by a sign up to my course to learn how to be a multi-million. Like what is wrong with him? Oh my word. Some people are just shit, aren't they?